In this video, we're going to go over getting BunnyNet to work with Presto Player. It's so easy, it'll feel like magic. Now, BunnyNet is just one option of where you can store your videos. It happens to be our favorite option, but you can choose the option that works best for you. First, you'll want to go to Bunny's website. You could visit prestoplayer.com slash bunny and it will take you right here. You will need to set up a BunnyNet account and let's first take a look at the pricing so you know how much the costs are going to be when using BunnyNet. Now I'll also show you some examples of what we've been paying to use BunnyNet's service. The first thing it's important to know is you're going to pay a minimum of $1 per month to use Bunny's services. Even if you don't use that much in research, resources, your minimum cost will be $1 per month. Now, there's two things you will be paying for with BunnyNet. First, you'll be paying to store your content there, your videos. And second, you will be charged a bandwidth fee when someone views one of your videos. So let's take a look at those two different costs. So I'm on the website and first let's take a look at storage and this is it right here where it says product pricing edge storage. So storage is going to cost you one penny per gigabyte of storage per month. Now it may cost a little bit more than that. I'll explain further. I'll click right here where it says see pricing details and this is more information on the storage. So what ends up happening is your video file goes to one location and in order to increase the speed at which your viewer can access your video, your video might be replicated into another location. We're really just talking about minor pennies here. So by default, Bunny's going to set you up in these two locations, one in Europe and one in North America, and you'll pay a combined three cents per gigabyte of storage. To give you an idea of how much storage you'll actually need, I'll give you an example. I have two online courses and combined all of the video files for those courses are about seven tenths of a gigabyte. So for me, it is not even reaching a full gigabyte in size. So if my files are in Europe and here in North America, I'll pay a total of three cents each month. Now, if I was really concerned with costs, I could just have my videos here in Europe or just here in North America. So if I didn't want it in North America and just wanted it in Europe, I could pay a penny per month per gigabyte and I can save two cents. However, for me, it's just pennies. It doesn't really matter. So now we know how much it costs to store your files. Let's see how much it costs to play back your files and what happens. So when I scroll down, this is the service that your video and audio files are going to use where it says volume network. This is what BunnyNet recommends for your files, this service. And this is what Presto Player is automatically going to configure. So let's take a look at the costs. So it says right here that your file is going to be distributed into eight different places around the world. So if someone is in one country, the playback will actually happen where it's closest to them. And this is all for speed and performance. So the top line cost that you're going to pay is half a penny per gigabyte of video and audio transferred. Let me just let you know that is extremely inexpensive to give you a idea of cost comparison. If you're using Amazon's bandwidth, Amazon S3, you're going to look at either eight cents up to 14 cents per gigabyte transferred depending on where that video comes from. And you can see here with BunnyNet, you're only going to be paying half a penny per gigabyte transferred. And then the cost actually starts to go down. So when you're calculating your cost, just know that it's going to cost you half a penny per gigabyte transferred. And when you combine the two, the cost of the bandwidth and the cost of the storage, you'll know what your costs are going to be. Here's an example of my cost. So right here is the folder that Presto Player has created for me. And we can see underneath the traffic column right here that I've used roughly 370 gigabytes of bandwidth. And then we have the cost column. You can see right here that has cost me $1.83. Now keep in mind, I will have to pay 
three cents per gigabyte of storage. In this case, it's under a gigabyte. So you have to factor in an extra three pennies. I know I'm being a little sarcastic on, on purpose, and that's because it's just such a great price using BunnyNet and the performance is outstanding. Okay, enough talk about BunnyNet. Let's just go ahead and configure it. And I'll let you know that Presto Player is gonna do all the work for you. It's gonna be so simple. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up that bunny net account you can see when you're on their website all you have to do is click right here where it says get started and create and fund your account the way it works is there's a minimum funding amount last i checked it was about ten dollars so you'll have to pay that as credit in order to get started then i want you to log into your account and make sure you're logged in in the same web browser. Next on your website, let's go ahead and create a video in the Media Hub right here. And we're gonna use the bunny block, which will configure it right off the bat for us. So I'm gonna click on add new and uh, right here, I am going to choose where it says BunnyNet. And if you haven't used BunnyNet on your site yet, it's gonna go ahead and ask you to get the API key. Now, if you're logged into your web browser and you click on this link, it's gonna open up in a new tab and take you right to where you need to go to get that API key. And for me, here's my API key. Now, what you need to do is click on this I and then you'll be able to visually see your API key and you're going to want to copy that into your clipboard. Now all you need to do is click right here and paste that API key in and then click next. There's my API key. It should all be masked out and you want to be careful with that. You don't want people to know that. So I'll go ahead and click on next and you're going to see these messages and it's basically Presto Player is setting everything up for you. You never have to go back into BunnyNet unless you want to go and recharge your account to put a little bit more money. This is gonna set everything up for you. And that's it. And I just said a couple sentences and it was already all done. So now what you can do is click on add or select a video. And if you want it to be a private video, just toggle that on. And when you click here, guess what? You're adding your video and it seems like you're actually Actually adding it to your website you're uploading it to your website but you're not it's going to be actually directly uploaded to BunnyNet and your video will not be stored on your website it'll be stored on BunnyNet servers so I'm going to choose upload new video and select a video from my computer okay I've chosen my video and it's uploading directly to BunnyNet but for me, I now have this interface here, so I never need to go to BunnyNet for anything. So I can click on my video, and we also have a, an option here to manage your videos. So you'll have a list over time, but if I ever wanted to delete a video off of BunnyNet, I can click delete video right here, and it will delete it from BunnyNet for me, so I never have to leave my website to manage this account. So I want to choose this video. I'll click on choose, and then there it is, and I can continue using all of these options that Presto Player gives me. And Presto, you're done. You are fully connected into BunnyNet and you can take advantage of the very affordable yet high performance network that Bunny allows you to have with the convenience and ease that you get with Presto Player. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.